<sighs> Scary facts you don't want to know. We need to change the vibe in here. There's a strong, non-scary vibe going on right now. It's just like one o'clock. Scary. Put this over you like you're scared. Okay. We need to make everyone think we're scared. Oh, we're so scared. And we're gonna tell you, even though you probably do not want to know. Okay. It's hot as f in my house. It is it? hot, dude. I'm in this blanket. You have to stay in the blanket, or they're not gonna know you're scared. All right, guys. We're gonna get into these facts, and comment down below what you guys think is the scariest one. You want to read the first one? <laughs> Should I? In toddlers, their adult teeth are right underneath their eyes. Wait, what? You know, like when they have baby teeth? Yeah. Their adult teeth are right here. No, they're not. I don't know. It says they are. There's no way. It says they are. Dude, and everything on Google is true. Ugh. I don't believe that at all. You think teeth start right here under your eyes and just slowly grow into your mouth? Okay, okay, okay. No one knows how anesthetics work. Is that how you say it? Anesthetics, yeah. Anytime they put you under... For a routine operation, there's currently no scientific explanation for why you're unconscious. What about taking the drug that made you unconscious? But they don't know, like, in your body, like, like why, how it makes you do that. I don't believe this at all, bro. I feel like most doctors would- Phonies! <laughs> this is fake. The truth is, Lil' old Colby was wrong. Doctors truly don't know why anesthesia works, but they use it anyways. And there's even a 1 in 10,000 chance that it could kill you. The TSA didn't catch 95% of guns and other paraphernalia, paraphernalia, paraphernalia going through airports during a government-run experiment. I believe that one. 95% though? That's a high number. That's like, put 20 people through there, it's like one person. You know it's true though? Like, most people that go through TSA get away with it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's freaky, man. I know. Dogs like squeaky toys because it reminds them of a small animal being killed. <laughs> What? Is that true? It makes sense, right? Oh wait, it kind of does make sense. Yeah. What about dogs that are like indoor dogs their whole life? Because my dogs never killed something. True, mine, mine never really did either. But I bet if there was a rabbit, my dog would run after it. Oh yeah. I don't know man, but it's getting hot as shit. It's getting hot in here, man. That's the scariest part of the video, is that my AC's not on. I know, it's never on, man. It's it really hot. Wait a minute. Is that? <gasps> No Name Merch. Guys, make sure you get No Name Merch at NoNameOfficial.com. Thanks. Your belly button is just your old mouth. <laughs> That's true if you think about it. It is true. The umbilical cord. Yep. Isn't it weird to think that whatever someone eats when they're pregnant, like you eat too in the belly? Yeah, it goes And like when you, you poop, your poop comes out with their poop. Really? Where else would your poop go? You pass the anniversary of your death date every year. That's a good point. Is that's, that... that's gonna kind of mess with me. Humans shed 40 pounds of skin in their lives. I do believe that. I do believe this one. Think about how much you get sunburned and like all the skin that comes off. Every yeah. single time you get sunburned. Think about looking at your skin, the 40 pounds of your skin all at once. How much is 40 pounds of something? That's like two small dogs. Two small dogs. That's, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that is gross. Koala bears can give you chlamydia. Don't you like koala bears? No. <laughs> no, I've actually heard this one before and I've held a koala, so I'm pretty sure I've had chlamydia before. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't know though? I'm not sure. <laughs> We breathe in a liter of farts every day. There's no f***ing way. What do you mean? There's no way. What if you're by yourself all day and you just don't fart? That's impossible. 
Everyone farts at least once a day. You think so? Girls can't fart, so... I don't know about that. The only way to avoid this is to work from home and avoid having company over. Otherwise, you and everyone else are all equally fart breathers. I don't trust anyone anymore. <laughs> your pet cat will eat your face after you die. No way, really? Do you think cats love us? I think cats are independent, but yeah, they, they have they love us for sure. But they don't love us like we love them. I just feel like if you leave, they're just like, eh, whatever. Aircraft toilets can suck out your rectum. I don't believe that. Either. I do believe this one. Have you ever flushed a toilet, dude? On an airplane? Yeah, but who it flushes a goes... <laughs> Do you flush a toilet while you're sitting down? Yeah, but let's say you fell into the toilet and it oh flushed. Oh god, okay, I could see that. Your butthole's going through, right? Yeah, but nobody sits down and flushes at the same time. If you do that, you're weird. True. You gotta look at your poop before you flush yeah, it. Yeah, well, you gotta stand up to wipe, too, I feel like. Wait, what? <laughs> you just... Do you do that? <laughs> you, you can, or you don't have to. But do you do that? Every once in a while, you stand up to wipe. Sometimes. I know, I've never done that. You sit down and just go wonk. Do you, you guys go from the back side or the front side when you wipe? Let me think. Think about how easier it is to stand up and wipe versus bending like this and wiping your ass. I feel like you're standing, standing up, up and bending like that. You don't have to bend over to wipe your ass. What? You don't have to do this to wipe your fucking ass. You have your cheeks are pressed against each other. <laughs> That's why you get wet wipes, brother. I bet that'd get be that good one. for like if someone wanted to eat your ass. That's I get my ass eaten like every day. So By yeah. who? All right, the doomsday clock has been getting closer to midnight since 1991. Do you know what the doomsday clock is? No. It's this giant clock that the atomic scientists moderate. It's a measurement they use for how close the world is to possible nuclear war and or annihilation. It says right now the clock is only two and a half minutes from midnight. How do they get this information to where they know when we're gonna die? Hmm, every single year we get closer to midnight. How do you know that? They just take everything together like global warming, war that could possibly happen. Uh, uh, uh. Why well, think about something that is obviously inevitably going to happen to everybody? But like you just don't know when, so why worry about yeah. it? You know what I mean? Like I could walk down the street and get run over today. But I'm not right. thinking about that. Do you think that our generation will live a full life? <clears throat> oh well, there was an article that came out like last month. I don't know if you saw that. That was saying that like global war warming was getting so bad that like we actually might all die. Mitchell Musso actually dropped a song called Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. <laughs> Check it out. 90% of paper money in the US contains traces of cocaine. 90? I've heard about that. I guess I could see that. Because money is always being reused, always. Think about how much cocaine gets transported to the US. Like, dude, so much. And you need dollar bills to do coke. Yeah, dude, if you think about it, money is the most recycled item. Right? And shit. Poop. Everybody poops. It goes into a factory and then like gets put into like soil and shit. It gets like recycled. <laughs> right? Are you sure about that? I think it goes into the ocean. If our poop's being used for soil, I want a percentage. I want you my know? poop back. Because we give them the poop for free. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Baby foreskins are sometimes used as replacement skin for burn victims. How big is a baby's foreskin? Like, that much? <laughs> That's a lot of baby foreskins. Are you circumcised? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you think your foreskin was put on... Maybe. Give me the foreskins. I need foreskin. Yeah, they probably don't tell people that. Like, if you think about it, what else would you cut off of a baby? No one just uses babies. <laughs> like, all right, I just burned my arm. Where's the baby? Let's take its skin. <laughs> no, I think you use your own, like, thigh skin or stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And then the, the foreskin is the last resort. Okay. Yeah, I don't Maybe. But true. It's like, well, what are they going to do with the skin anyways? Yeah. You know? They're not just going to throw away the baby's foreskin. They can't. Red eyes at the pool are caused by urine, not chlorine. I don't believe that. Nitrogen in the urine combined with chlorine to create something called chloramine. Chloramine makes your eyes red. So it's a mixture of chlorine and urine. It's number one ingredient is urine. We should do a test on this and get pure chlorine from Amazon and pour it into our eyeballs and see if it's red. And then you can piss in my eyes and then I'll see if it's <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll see if it's red. I mean, how else are we gonna figure it out? Get the piss, get the chlorine, we're going get in. Get out. Male fetuses get erections in the womb. I don't believe that either. How the f can you have a fucking boner as a baby? I got like my first boner when I was like 16. One out of 50 women have a third nipple. Where? I don't know. <laughs> you are always within six feet of a spider at any given moment. That's definitely not true. There's no I way there's a spider around us right now. Then what the f is that? Ah! Dozens of insects and spiders may live in every room of your house. How wide is five feet? That's almost from one side to the other side of the room. Yeah, maybe, maybe if like they're in the walls or something, I don't know. Or in the couch. How would they get inside the couch? The cushion? My phone falls down the crack. I bet a spider's falling down there. Oh God. 48% of sodas at fast food joints contain bacteria from fecal matter, which means shit matter. Poop! That's all of the scary facts that we have for you today. Guys, make sure to leave a big fat like if you don't want global warming to happen. Make sure you subscribe to Colby. Heck, subscribe to me. And we hope you guys have a Happy great Hanukkah.